All right, just for you, JHS, we'll go ahead and start a minute early. All right, so this is a new game. came out less than, a, uh, uh, what, two weeks ago, I think? Uh, pretty close to there, like the February 25th. Yeah, I feel like there's more than that. Anyway, 15th maybe, recently. So uh, we're just going to go around playing the campaign. I haven't gotten super far. I never played the original version of this game, but yeah, I think we're still in the uh, old kingdom, like the very beginning. Okay, and there's two options here. Um, we can either do Buhen at the very bottom, or we can do South Dasher, which is over here. So, I think the difference between these ones, I mean, there's a couple differences, but the biggest one is this one we have to build a pyramid. And this one we have to build a small obelisk. So we either build a really big tower, or a really big triangle. Any, any preference on this one? Because I'm kind of leaning towards big tower. Since the pyramid on this one is the bent pyramid, which is like the ugly one. Yeah, this one seems like it, well, yeah, that one looks like it might take a little longer to win, too. Okay, I'm tempted to do this one. Let's go ahead and do this one. We can build a nice big tower soaring into the sky. It's been a, oh. This game's take forever to load. It's about to die. There we go. Okay. Memory capped out for a brief moment. Kind of scary. All right, let's listen to the Our intro. Pero Snofu is determined that this, the fourth dynasty, be remembered as the greatest. Oh, no, it died. Wait, let's pull it back up. I want to I wanna see it. Our new pharaoh Snofu is determined that this, the fourth dynasty, be remembered as the greatest ever to rule Egypt. Pharaoh wishes that our borders be pushed even further south. He has therefore decreed that we invade Nubia and establish a fortified city at Buhen, beside the second cataract of the Nile. There you must also erect a granite obelisk to serve as a beacon that this area forever belongs to Egypt and to Pharaoh. There is no granite to be found so far south, however, so you will need to import it from Abu. At Buhen, you will encounter fierce and seasoned Nubian warriors who will fight to the death to prevent us from establishing a foothold so far south. Do not despair, for after vigorous training at a military academy, your fighting men may emerge as seasoned veterans themselves. What's more, our military engineers have perfected the design of several defensive structures, such as fortified towers, walls, and gatehouses. These will prove invaluable in withstanding the onslaught of the Nubian army. Transport ships may also be employed to aid in moving your army around by water when necessary. To the north, we have opened relations with Enkomi on the island of Cyprus. This land is named for its abundant reserves of copper ore, which we are now able to purchase from them. However, thanks to a recently established Egyptian mining community at Serabet Kadim in the land of Sinai, we are able to supply our governors with copper at a much more affordable price. Supplies from Serabet Kadim are often erratic due to unrelenting Bedouin and Canaanite attacks against the settlement, and we are uncertain how much longer the Egyptian forces stationed there can hold out. Pharaoh's burial place, a unique and spectacular monument, is currently under construction at Tashur. From time to time, Pharaoh may request that you contribute some limestone to aid in the completion of this project. All right, that was probably the longest intro of any mission so far. Holy cow. This is going to be quite the complex mission with a lot of military involved. I'm excited since earlier on military hasn't been super interesting. So I'm curious to see where the system goes. Okay, we're going to pause it right off the bat because I really like to like 
plan out how we're doing stuff first. This is a really nice starting spot though. Okay, so there's room for a couple gold mines, some farms down here. Right, let's zoom all the way out. There we go. Okay, so we um Okay, so there's an oasis in the top corner, a bunch of rocks, and then some planting areas. Ooh, ostrich hunting as well. Right, this is going to be a pretty good one. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to build the main settlement, probably like this corner. So let's go ahead and build that out really quick. We're going to start with our main road. Let's give it, what, four thick? Okay. And then we're going to put houses all along the edges here. Okay. We'll turn it up to five times speed. That way we can just get as many people to move in as possible. Extra quick. Okay, and then we'll pause. That way we can get some of these quick services down. Water supply is going to be a little annoying. Because our closest one is going to have to be right there. So let's go ahead and roadblock this and that. This is going to be our contained little section for people to live. We're going to put this right there. Okay, so that's thing number one that we need to do. And let's go ahead... I want to get access to the ostriches as fast as possible because those are like my favorite food source just because you don't have to worry about farming at all in order to get them. So let's go ahead and get some of that down. First we're going to need a ferry. We'll give that some pretty easy road access. Go from this side. Okay, so now that we got that, we can build out to these ostriches. Dude, rest in peace, the ostriches. Little do they know that for the next, you know, 2,000 years, we're just going to be hunting them to extinction. But, you know, people got to eat, so I guess it's valid. Wait, are we even allowed to hunt? Am I just dumb? Looks like there's not even hunting available. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I just read the logo wrong. That would have been really embarrassing. Okay. So we got our food right there. We're going to put a granary. I feel like it makes more sense to put the granary on the other side. So we're going to put it over here. That way it will be next to the farms as well. Which, speaking of that, let's get those set up. And let's get, let's see, let's just do two of each so far. So we'll get two chickpeas and two, or one barley. And we'll get all those some road access. Okay. It's probably enough time that we can press play, let everyone move in while we go in for, let's see, let's refine some reserve. Let's get a work camp down. Can roadblock this spot right here. And before I forget, let's put on some fire patrol because I feel like I always forget to do that and then everything just ends up burning down. And then same with the architects, so we'll just put those right next door to each other. What's religion like in this area? Let's see. Okay, so Set is the main god, Patah is our second one, so let's go ahead and get some shrines. Actually, temples. We'll start with temples. So we'll put a temple here in the middle. Temple number two can just go, like, right... Is that a good spot? Maybe just right across right there. No, that's a terrible idea. Right here. There we go. Okay, so now let's go and check out... I think we need... Oh, a bazaar. I... Yeah, no, forgot about that. And this is in no way a reference to the show that shall not be named. Okay, we'll put the bazaar right there, and then now we'll be able to start pumping some food to these people. And then before I 
go into heck of debt. Let's go ahead and get this gold mine started as well. We need to maximize gold mine efficiency. I think we'll be able to get only three. That might be our best bet. Looks like we can squeeze one more in on the other side as well. Put a block right there. Yeah, and then we'll get... Oh crap, I forgot disease exists. Ah, uh, no, please. Okay, everyone's dying. Let's get a physician. And put it right next to the temple. And now we're out of employees. So we'll need some more people to move in. Hopefully, quickly. Okay. We've bet off more than we can chew here. Let's put the palace just right down. I don't want it to be close to the mines. Let's just get it like as close as possible, like right here. And that should hopefully encourage enough people to move in that we can actually have employees for some of these things. Okay. Do we have enough people yet? We still need 23 workers. I might just, let's just put down some more houses then. We're going to put some on, let's keep going here, so we'll, it's kind of hard to see with this temple in the way. Okay, and hopefully we can get enough people moving in with that to get some employees. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's send some people back to the mines. We have plenty of mines that need mining. Let's see, and then if we need to put a mine, like, say here, 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 so let's just take... Well, actually, I guess... Yeah, we could do it right now, might as well. So we'll get one right there. There. And we'll need a storage yard for that, so let's put that there. Now we need more employees. Are we not getting enough? Looks like we're not getting enough game meat. We're getting plenty of chickpeas, just not the meat. I don't know if it's just because it's taking forever to get across, or because we just need more hunters, but might as well get more hunters. Just so we can further the lack of employees problems. And hopefully that will give us enough limestone that Pharaoh won't be super mad at us. What's imports and exports like here? We can't even export limestone, so the only reason we'd want to mine it is just so Pharaoh isn't mad at us. Which makes me tempted to just delete them right after we do that. Okay, and then we're gonna need some protection for these buildings. And hopefully our limestone can get high enough that we can pay that before it's too late. Let's go ahead and expand this upward a bit. And we'll just put the new thing... Well, that guy's gone. Oh my gosh. Disappeared instantly. Okay, so... We'll be able to squeeze quite a bit more houses out into this outer side. So let's get these down. And then same with over here. Okay, now we have plenty of employees to work with. And way too much limestone. Beer... Okay, the pharaoh in this this mission is demanding. I'm turning game speed down because I need to manage this a little bit better than I am. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... So we need the brewery. Let's keep that pretty close to the storage yard. We'll put it just across right here.
much limestone do we have? Okay, so maybe one limestone mine's a bit too much. Let's get rid of that. What to use for everything else? What what services do we need? Entertainment, that's what I'm forgetting. Juggler school. Need someone to juggle the eh, never mind. Never mind. So we'll put Yeah, that's probably good enough. That way we can squeeze a bandstand somewhere. Let's see. I didn't think this through quite as much as I should have, perhaps. Actually, no, we'll be able to fit one right. Come on, like right here. All right, now we have an absolute party booth up there. And hopefully we can train some entertainers fast enough to get that working. Let's put a juggler right in the middle of all that, so hopefully we get a little bit more entertainment that way. And before I forget, I need to put my personal mansion down so I can have a butt ton of money. Wrath of Set? I built a temple for him though, that should be good enough. It did give us an achievement though, so I don't know if I'm going to complain. Since we got Wrath of Set, but he we don't have a navy for him to destroy, but he would have. So I guess it's I guess it's worth it since we got the achievement. Speaking of that, let's go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Put a shrine down over here. Is Patah mad at me too? Then no, Patah's fine. He's chilling. Let's see here. I swear I was right about to do something and I just forgot. Uh oh. Hopefully it wasn't important then. Okay, so now we need desirability. Time to get all these streets on LSD. There we go. Yeah, maybe not quite those ones. We don't need those to be trippy yet. I wish this would work in real life. People don't want to live somewhere, so the government just goes, "All right, we'll just we'll just make the streets funny looking." That's guaranteed to get them into our city. Okay, desirability is slightly high, but now we need pottery. Yeah, I kind of forgot pottery existed. Haven't played this game in like a week, so, oops. Okay, so we're going to need Do I want to do the whole thing myself? Do I want to import X? Yeah, unemployment's high enough that we can get away with that. So we're going to need to import clay it looks like. So let's put down some potters over here. And then we'll start importing clay. Let's see. Are we allowed to import clay? Yeah. How do we import clay? Which place is even selling clay? This one. Oh, this is a good one because these guys will buy barley from us and beer, which is what we're producing. Even if it's expensive as heck to open the route. Finally emptied our storage yard because Pharaoh decided to get greedy again. All right, let's get to dock. Pop that there, give it some road access. Let's put another storage yard closer to some of these work spots. Alright, now we can start ordering some of our clay for the potters. So let's go ahead and maintain it at like 500, 300. And we only have like two potters, so it's 400. It's probably good enough. I never really know what number to do. So I always just kind of go for whatever number I can think of. Do we need more food supplies? Let's see. Cheap overseer. We produce much more than we can eat, yet we're still not getting all the food we need to the people who need it somehow. Which just seems slightly strange. We're going to need another brewer. We're filling up with barley super fast. Hmm. Okay, what do we 
these guys need? More desirability? What's the best way to get desirability over here? Probably just add some gardens in the backyard. Uh-oh. Okay, so I need to send a different city. Okay, so that's a new feature then. Because that hasn't happened in any of the other campaigns yet. Let's go ahead and give everyone some gardens. Everyone can have a nice backyard today. Should be everyone. Yeah, okay. And while we're thinking of it, let's go ahead and get some of this military stuff down. I don't really want military to be close to anything else. Let's just get it all the way over here. We can probably just fit it on the edge of our mining paths. So let's start with... Archers is probably the best one. I like archers because you don't have to do any weaponsmithing shenanigans. And then we'll get our recruiter over here. Okay. So he should be recruiting them pretty quick. I should hope so. And then that also means we're going to need transport wharfs. So let's get a wharf down near the dock. Might be better to get this area a little more self-sustaining though. So let's get that. Can even fit it. Oh, there we go. Connect that up. And then we're going to put another thing right next to it. Let's get our ship right. Where even is the ship right? I forgot where to get these things. Probably in, yeah, there we go. Ship right. Does that, does that really not fit here? Where do these fit? Well, that's far away. Well, I guess we'll just have to put it over there. Okay, and I think we're gonna need to import wood. Yeah, that's a shame. So to get wood, we're going to need... Okay, we're so they're already selling wood, so we don't need to open a new route. That's nice. Let's just maintain that at 200. And hopefully all the boats and soldiers can be ready by the time I need to go. I can't help but feel like it's not, and everyone in the country is going to get really mad at me. Which is, you know, not great. But also looks like our clay supplies constantly low so let's maintain that a little higher how's citizen stuff looking over here need more pottery i feel like i've been pottering maybe I just haven't had enough clay for them to really do anything yet oh man we're gonna need more limestone okay let's go ahead and open a second storage yard because I feel like we're gonna run out of room if we need if we need that much limestone we're gonna need more storage yards so let's get two more quarries what's an employment at okay let's not do any new projects for a while until we get new people because I definitely don't want to get caught in the loop of unemployment until everyone just gets unemployed and we all just go into debt since I feel like that happens far too often We have two brewers too, but we have like barely any beer. I don't know where all of it's, it's probably all just going to the citizens then, right? No, they don't even need beer. What's going on? The hard thing is that we have the second food source, but it's just, it takes a really long time for it to get to the bazaar. And I don't know if there's any way to get that more efficient. Because it's just the distance between there and there is just so long. I don't know if just getting more hunters would work. That Maybe that would work. Because then it's still just as slow, but we have a lot more of it as well. No, that wouldn't work. If anyone has any ideas... Oh my gosh, I have, I like, I have no idea how to do this. Well, hopefully that works out. I guess we'll just have to figure it out later. Let's see if there's anything I can export. Let's go ahead and export 
Oh, do we have anything that's? I feel like we don't even have any surpluses and stuff. But we're gonna run out of food pretty, or sorry, gold pretty quick if we don't start exporting. Um, looks like the only thing we can export is beer and barley at the moment, and linen. But I don't have anything to do with linen, so let's go ahead and. Let's export barley when we're over 500. That's not going to give us a bunch of money, but hopefully it should give us enough not to go in debt. And then it looks like army stuff is going good. Unemployment, not terrible yet. Some of our buildings are finally upgrading. Let's get a courthouse down. Looks like we need one of those. Oh, totally forgot about tax collectors. Probably good to get one of those as well. Let's try to get this as central as possible. Probably here. Because I don't know if we can afford the workers to get two different tax collectors at the moment. Alright, so... Man, I'm not sure where to go from here. Making money on this map seems to be pretty difficult. Because there's, there's no, like, raw resource. The only thing we can get is gold mine and limestone. But we can't export the limestone, and there's only a teensy bit of gold on the whole map. I, okay, there's a little more that I missed over here. So I guess it's not as bad. Oh, no. I just finished building that ship. Oh, no. Wait, we needed that. Well, that's too bad. Guess we can't. That is really poor time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Set decided to destroy our boat literally like three days before we needed to send troops there that is that is really bad oh man okay so saradat karim is just gonna get destroyed i guess my bad guys okay we're gonna need more barley for this because we pharaoh is demanding quite a bit so let's go ahead and get one here and there How's food looking? We're just like, do we need more bazaars or what? Uh, well, we might just need bigger food stashes. Do we have, I don't know if we have the employment for that though. Also, yeah, step five. Yeah, I was hoping you'd forget about that. It makes me die inside just slightly. Okay, this is going to be a wonky road, but we also need to not be super poor. So let's try and get as much gold mines from this area as we can. I don't know if there's any way to maximize that. I think three is probably as much as you can get in that area. Maybe is this allowed? Oh, okay. Four more gold mines should probably be fine. And then let's just connect that to the road over here. I'm pretty sure that connects. Okay, I keep forgetting that we need to a piece set. That's, uh-oh. Love you. Aw, I love you guys too. Okay, we need we need a festival square. That's what we need. Let's put one right. We don't we don't have anywhere to put a festival square. It could be good to just try and cram one. Just like right here maybe. So, okay, so the objective of this game is a little tricky to explain. So there's different missions, right? So I'm doing a mission right now and they have different goals. So there's, you can see our goals. It's gonna start playing a voice in the background, so be prepared. But you can see our objectives, get our population to 3,000, get these ratings and a monument. I'll, I'll close out of it just because I, you know, don't need any of those noises in the background. But we need to get our ratings high. Basically we need people to like us a lot. We need to build an obelisk, so we need to build a tall monument, and we need to get our population to 3,000. Our population is right here at the very top, so we're at a third of the population we need to be at. 
So those are like the big objectives. Well, obviously there's the small objectives of like, don't let your town starve to death. That's usually not a very good thing. Okay, so hopefully these extra gold miners will make it so we don't go completely broke. Plus the tax collector. We might want to check that actually. Looks like we're... Okay, so we're getting a pretty good coverage on our taxes then. And set, I'm going to assume, is very mad at us. So let's hurry up and build that festival square so we can start throwing parties for him. We might need a... Hmm. Let's shrink this down and put it over here instead. Um, so it's it's kind of the other way around. So you you don't... When I complete the objectives, it doesn't make my city better. I'm trying to make my city better to complete the objectives, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to get more workers, you know, better buildings, stuff like that. That way I can achieve the objectives I need to in order to win, uh, if that makes sense. Hopefully I explained that well. If not, you can ask more questions, but that's kind of the general idea. Maybe could this fit a theater square? No. Oh, this place could fit a theater square. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're going to pop it right down here. We'll go and destroy it. We will need to... I don't know if the roadblock makes it so we can't build it. So let's go ahead and get the roadblock away. And then we can pop down this. All right, there we go. Okay, now the gods won't be mad as frick. And then we can still roadblock these. Okay, now let's throw an epic party. Let's hold it. Well, okay, a mid party. Common festival for set. Okay, so now the god won't be mad at us, so he'll stop breaking our boats like he did last time. How much archers? Three archers? I feel like that should. There should be more by now. Okay, so that's that. We have a bunch of limestone. And we have the exact amount of beer. Alright, so let's just give him all of our beer. But we're gonna need quite a bit more than that. Let's build a road out here so we can expand a bit more. And then we're gonna put probably more brewers? Do we even... I don't know if we have the barley for that, so we might need to build more farms. How this works okay so we'll put more farms down and that basically guarantees that we have enough uh, barley to produce beer so it's kind of a supply chain right looks like our party just started so now we're all chilling partying and we did it in honor of the god so hopefully he's not mad at us okay he's still mad at us for some reason so i guess we can build a little shrine to him hopefully that makes him happier Anyway, so we'll grow the barley over here, and then we'll need to build a brewery, and that will turn the barley into beer. Okay, so now that we have that, maybe one more? So now we have, what, five breweries? Uh-oh. Okay, rest in peace, those guys. Is there a Kadim a thing still there? Okay, so it at least still exists. And that's where we can get a lot of important stuff. So hopefully hopefully next time they need my help, I can actually give it to them instead of just letting them die. My bad. Uh, let's see here. Okay, looks like the gold miners and the tax collectors are giving us enough money that I don't need to stress too much about it. As far as population goes, we haven't been growing our population like at all. And we need to hurry up and do that. Did I ever put down a court? I thought I did put down. No, I haven't. I meant to put down a courthouse and I forgot. Dang it. Okay, let's put it right... Uh-oh. Uh, oops. My bad. I'm sorry, team. Um, in my defense, it wasn't quite my fault. It was Seth's fault because he broke my boats. So... Yeah, that's a little bit of an oopsie. Sorry, guys. 
Sorry, town of mine. Uh, let's put our magistrate right here. Okay, let's check out our ratings. So these ratings, this is basically people's opinion of us. You can see if it's in orange, that means it's lower than our objective. If it's blue, that mean it is our it means it is our objective. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time talking right now. So you can see um, culture, we need better culture, which means we need more like dancers, jugglers, and then kingdom. That's how like people see us. So if we're late to give if we're late to give Pharaoh like free stuff, then our kingdom standing will fall. So that's kind of some of those objectives. Also, face reveal we hit 40. Uh, I technically have done the face reveal in the past a couple times. Granted, I'm a small enough channel that that you know anyone that would matter to never saw it, right? So it doesn't really matter. I'm probably never gonna do a face or er, nah, I, I would eventually, but not for a while. I do it. Hmm. If I recall, I promised my friend, I promised my friend that uh, if I did, if I got 10,000 followers, or I guess when, when I get 10,000 followers, I'll make an OnlyFans. That's one promise I've made. And let's say when I get, if I get, tw what, to like 100,000 subscribers, I do a face reveal at 100,000. So, like, not super duper impossible, but definitely far away. Okay, now that we have this magistrate, hopefully we can get more people moving in. I myself a mansion. I feel like I was going to, and I might have forgotten. Let's build my mansion right here. Yeah. Okay. So, we got that. Really? I just have to pay him a bunch of money? Oh, come on. Okay, I don't I don't know if I have I don't know if I have any say in that, so I guess I'll do it. Okay, so now we're starting to get slightly more poor than I would want. There's a bunch of gold on this side, but it's like also super hard to get to. I don't know why this is like even an option over here. Is there any other gold mines that I'm missing? I feel like I need more money. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's that's a rip. <laughs> trying to think of what we need right now. I think schools are what we're gonna need next. Or a library. Um We don't have like any papyrus right now. Let's start importing reeds, and then I'll make my own papyrus. That way I can sell it for money later on. So let's import to maintain, how about 500? And then we'll need, so when we get our papyrus, papyrus will get sent to these things, the uh, pressers or whatever. What are they called? Pap just a papyrus maker. And I'll turn the reeds into papyrus. And we can use those for what we need, and then any extras we can sell. And that will stop us from going broke, hopefully. Have to leave for a bit. Alright, I'll see you soon then, buckaroo. Oh man, we're running out of people. That's not good. Do we need another physician? How the heck do we need another physician? Let's just put a mortuary down. Oh wait, no, that needs linen. We can't do that. Um, and we're still having a hard time with food supply. What the heck? Okay, let's get let's get some more farms down. We need to guarantee we have food, I guess. So let's get another chickpea farm over here and here, and then we'll do another hunting ground over here. Even though that means we're like out of employees, which is not very good. I'm trying to think if there's any easy other places we could put housing. Oh wait, that was probably important for an army. 
Okay, 24 months, Nubian army. That's probably not good. They're probably going to be stronger than my army at the moment. Let's try and... How much archers do we have? 16? Okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a military academy right across from the fort. Even though we, you know, can't yet. Okay, we're low-key running out of storage. Can I export pots? We have a lot of pots. No? Okay. Um, we might just need another storage yard. Or we just need to delete one of these. We don't need that much limestone anymore. So let's do the, that. That will give us a slightly more... That'll give us slightly more of the workers that we need. Do I have employees at these? Hopefully not. For some reason we do. Even though we're not actually, you know, using it. Maybe we need a second bazaar. Would that help? Let's get a second bazaar. Hopefully that helps speed things up. Oh, wait a minute. That's probably why we're getting wrecked right now. Okay, we'll roadblock that. Wait, no, that's also a terrible idea. Oh, man. Okay, wait. So we're going to get rid of that roadblock here. Okay, okay, yeah. So I think that was making it just not circulate. Wait, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm panicking. Let's see. So... That side's blocked, that side's blocked, that side's blocked, that's blocked. Okay, never mind. We're fine. I thought there was an opening, but apparently there wasn't, so we don't need to worry about it. We still need more workers. What do we need here? Physician? We have a physician, like, right across the street from you. Where is our physician, and why is he just abandoning these guys? Is this him? I've had people come in for checkups just because they've nothing better to do. This guy just keeps skipping over this, it looks like. In that case, we might just have to build a second one right across the street from it. Let's put it maybe in this... Just right... Yep. Guess we'll just put two physicians right next to each other because the one physician we do have is kind of zero brain power, I guess. Okay. All of our barley like disappeared. What the? When is barley at even harvest? June. Okay, I don't know. That took me forever to find. I'm sorry. Okay, so June is when we'll get more barley, but it looks like we're low key out of it right now. Okay, now that I got the second position, we actually have employees, or at least bigger houses. Um, but we need education stuff. Well, we can't do education until we have more workers, which we're just not getting for some reason. Let's just speed it up and hopefully we'll get some immigrants. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's see. What do we need here? Okay, so people are coming. We just need more of them. Maybe we just we put like what a second road here. And then just put a row of chunk of houses like we can fit another one there. Could probably put one more here. Then one right there. Okay, and then hopefully those couple extra houses will give us the worker push we need to really upgrade them. 
that good enough yet? Our bazaars, our bazaars, like, still aren't getting the food that we need. Okay, so we need to deliver. I think that was beer, right? We need to give him beer. Yeah. Okay, so we almost have enough beer. Not quite. I think by the time the festival happens, we will be fine. Um, are we exporting beer? Oh, we can export beer. We'll export when we're over 1500 or 2000 though. That way when we have to give a bunch of it to Pharaoh and stuff, we won't run out of it too soon. Okay, now once we get that last guy here, that last worker, we'll have 0% unemployment. There we go. Okay. Now that we have zero unemployment, we can actually start expanding a bit more again so we should have a little bit of papyrus now and now that we do we can get some education up in here so let's get our scribal school we can put that right there how much papyrus do we have Okay, that's not bad. Probably need another storage yard, though. Let's get another storage yard. We need more entertainment in this corner, it looks like. Let's put a juggler just right here. That should be entertaining enough. And then we have a scribal school, but it doesn't seem to be making their rounds quite yet. Where's the educators? Ooh, now we have a big chunk of people moving in. Let's speed it up so we can just get some workers in. Okay, we're actually starting to get people to live here again. That's nice. Is this the magistrate? All is quiet okay. in the court. There is no crime here. More desirability. Okay, let's make everyone's garden bigger. So you can pop one right there. And then here. Oh no, but uh, I guess that, that was like, that was the one that was full of just rocks, so that's not a huge deal. Hopefully Pharaoh just doesn't ask for any right now. That would be very poorly timed. On that topic though, we might want to make Bata a little happier and build some shrines. Is that too far? I think that's too far. Right here? Or just like right there. And let's go ahead and throw a festival as well. Just so they're not too mad at us. Okay, and let's rebuild the stockpile. Probably going to be good to invest in a weaponsmith soon. That's probably going to be what we need next. First, though, let's get some more entertainment. Let's put a bandstand here. Can't, wait, why can't we put a bandstand there? That should be able to fit maybe here then. This should definitely be able to fit though. I don't know why that's not. Hmm, weird. It's probably some random thing that I'm not thinking of that makes it not work and I'm just dumb, but like 
Is it because it's not a plaza? Maybe we can try that. On that topic, let's finish the plazas over here. Let's put them over here, and here, there, here, there. Okay. Anyway, now I can look all the bills to it. Yeah. Well, I guess I just have no idea what I'm doing then. Okay. Next. Let's put a juggler in this corner. And then a new roadblock, and let's put a bandstand over here. Which is burned down. I feel like I saw something burned. Am I am I going crazy? I swear I saw something on fire. Okay, never mind, I guess. I really thought something was on fire, and apparently it just wasn't. Okay, let's hold another festival for Pata. What's going on over here? Entertainment? I feel like we did have entertainment, like, right next to you, though. There's literally a dude, like, right there. Hmm. Okay, random pieces of granite. Our housing feels like it's stuck. I feel like it's not quite as efficient as I probably should have made it. Oh, it looks like it's battle time. That's like that's like a teensy army. Uh, how do you make your city have money? Also nice to meet you, pie guy. Nine, uh, let's see, 198. Okay, so the way your city has money... Wait, looks like we killed those guys. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll pause. Um, you can see there, there's two ways that I've seen. Basically, you can... You know, you can have gold mines. So if there's, if there's gold in the rocks, you can put gold mines next to them and mine that. Then they'll carry the gold back to the palace. That'll give you a really good amount of money. Or like decent amount of money the other way is by exporting things so if you look here if you open up your overseer of commerce there's importing and exporting so exporting is you putting your resources out right so if you have extra ones you'll sell them basically so for example i have 1900 beer and i'm telling it i'm saying you know if there's more if i have more than 2000 beer then i'll export it and it will sell for 140 for every like 100 beer or whatever and then that will bring income to your town as well so that's how that works to, to, hopefully that made sense um if i need to re-explain it i can but that's that's kind of the gist um looks like we need another storage yard let's put one right here we're running out of employment my housing? My housing's up here. Um, what about housing exactly? Um, if you're asking about money, oh, that does remind me. I don't know if this is what you're, if you is, uh, if it's what you meant. But the other way to make money that I forgot about is tax collectors. So if you, you know, put a tax collector, he'll walk around just like all the other guys, um, and he'll also collect money. Making housing better. So the main way you figure out if housing is better is you'll just click on the house and it will tell you what it needs. And there's just like a certain amount of things that they need in order to upgrade. So for example, this is like a really low level house for some reason. And it's telling me it needs supply of food from the bazaar. So I just need to make sure my bazaar can reach it and give it food, right? Whereas like this house over here, it needs a magistrate from a courthouse. So it means I just need to put another courthouse down somewhere near him. Stuff like that. You can't get past the bazaar one. Food from the bazaar. But 
let's see. Speaking of courthouses. Yeah. Um, depending on the level of house, it kind of just depends. If you have any questions, feel free. Depending on the level. If, if it's... I feel like the hardest level, honestly, is probably this one. Food from the Bazaar. Because that's just the hardest one to balance compared to all the other needs of a house. No, you're totally good. Yeah, you can definitely ask questions. Um... Yeah, if you ever have any questions, you can totally ask. But yeah, food is just kind of hard to manage because you have to make sure you're making enough of it. You have to make sure it's close enough to the granary, that the granary is close enough to the bazaar, and that the bazaar is close enough to the houses. That way, just everything can be efficient and everyone can get the food they need. And that can just be really hard to balance sometimes. So honestly, food is probably one of the harder aspects of like the city in general. Looks like we need more jugglers. Yeah, I think we need more jugglers. So let's build another juggler school over here. All right, let's pop down juggler school right there. Okay, so what do these guys need? Dentist? That's nice. Dentists are really small, so those are easy one over here and let's put one over here as well i feel like two will make it easier this this spot's starting to get like really crowded i'll probably need to expand pretty soon i think the next spot i want to expand it's probably easiest if i start doing stuff on this side like this is probably a pretty good spot to add some more houses if i ever need to but for now, I'm going to try and upgrade these ones just as high as possible. So the way, so tax collectors work just like all the other like walking guys, right? Like the firemen, uh, the priests, all that. So a tax collector's office is just another one where you put it down and I'll just send out a worker. He'll just like patrol the road and every house he walks by, he'll just like collect money from it basically. And then he'll just bring it back to the tax collector's office and... Yeah, then you'll just get your money. But yeah, once you put the building down, as long as it's like pretty... Yeah, so it's, it's, it's automatic. Once you put the building down, all you have to do is put the building down and then the collector will just walk around and do stuff for you. You don't need to tell him to do anything. All right, like my tax collector, I put him right here, this building. So all I have to do is put it down and then it'll just spawn a guy and he'll just do it for you. Like you don't need to assign anything. I mean, it looks like we're actually getting employees now. Yeah, yep, anytime. All right, let's put another, I don't even know where we can fit more entertainment, honestly. We're kind of out of entertainment spots. We could maybe squeeze a bandstand in here? No. Might as well put a juggler there then. Okay. Entertainment is also kind of a hard one to figure out just because it's always hard to get room for entertainment when there's just so many other buildings that you need to fit in. Everything seems to be going pretty good, though. Uh, where should we put the mo uh, obelisk? I'm not going to do it yet. I'm definitely going to wait till I have the room for it. Yeah, so yeah, you can put entertainment by housing. Um, it's just hard to fit, you know? So you can see my entertainment. I have like the bandstands like right here. Uh, you know, like this right here. And the the hardest part about them is you have to put them on intersections. Ish. So jugglers are the smallest one. Uh, yeah, so it... I'm honestly not sure if it lowers value. I think certain buildings if you're next to them will lower value. But certain buildings if you're next to them will up, up the value. And honestly, I don't, I don't think they lower the value. I know like... Firehouses and like basic stuff like that will lower the value. 
but from my experience i don't think that entertainment stuff will lower value they might but i'm pretty sure they don't but i'm not completely sure so maybe don't trust me a bunch but i'm i'm like i don't know 80 percent sure that they don't like i think i think it's safe What do we need next? We just need more. I swear, I already have so much entertainment. I just can't get more of it. I don't even know where else I can fit this entertainment. We're kind of out of room. If I could put a bandstand here, I feel like that'd be really nice. But something's blocking it, and I just don't know what. Hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't quite figure out where to put that. That's too bad. My storage yards all my storage yards feel like they're full. Is there anything I can export to free up spots? Let's see. There's like barely anything I can export. That's too bad. Um, linen is exportable. So I guess I could import. Oh, bricks are too. Hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and we might want to start importing flax. That way we can export linen. Well, I don't really need to though. I'm making enough money. It's mostly just balancing my stockpiles because I'm running like really low on storage. So let's just get out here and just make another little city block that we can put a stockpile on. Alright. Somehow this place still just isn't getting food from the bazaar. It has everything but food. And I'm not quite sure why. Hmm. Is entertainment still a problem here? There's literally another magistrate. Okay, if I'm being honest, I think I might just like give up on this section. I think this feels like the farthest I'm gonna get it. I think we can keep these. This is a, about half, a little more than half the population we need. So I kind of want to start a new neighborhood like down here and then we can get the rest of our population in this area. That shouldn't be too tricky. Yeah, if we could just put a bridge over this. I have like no idea how bridges work honestly. Maybe this place is too big for a bridge. That might be it. Let's get a ferry then. So here and here. And then we'll just need to connect those up with roads. Yeah, I, I don't do much with bridges. I have a hard time figuring out when to use bridges or ferries. So I usually just do ferries. Let's see. So now that we have that, so we can... Give him a bunch of limestone. And then... What did he... Uh, these things? So this is a ferry. It, it's... Um, I'm assuming this is what you meant. It basically is just a water bridge, right? So it just will put boats back and forth to transport people across the river. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you can see I have another one up here. So that's how, like, these guys that are hunting can bring the food over here. Is they just take these boats that go back and forth across the river. Oh yeah, what mission are you on? How far are you in? Because I'm, I'm not super far in, honestly. I'm probably, like, ten missions in. So not like, like, not like tutorial, but, you know, like, not really far. Probably a little bit. Four for four. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I know, like, the game's, like, brand new. So, I mean, basically everyone who's playing the game is, like, basically a noob. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so let's, let's get our next neighborhood set up. And I want it to be, like, as efficient as possible, so let's just... Oh, yeah, I... Going broke is, like, a really weird thing in the game, because it's, like, the first one or two in-game years, it's, like, super easy to go... It's, like, really easy to go broke, but after that... You, like, don't have to worry about it at all. Like, the second you can start exporting something or, like, get some gold mines down, like, you know, you get a bunch of money like I do. And then you don't really have to worry about the money after that. But there's a certain section in, like, slightly middle game, earlier middle game, where it's, like, it's really hard to keep track of your money. So my recommendation is, if there's gold mines, I forgot exactly when you do gold mines, so maybe you don't have them yet. And I don't know if you have if you have the um, if you have exporting either. Did it ever tell you about exporting? I don't know if you can do that yet. Sorry, I I, I have a really hard time remembering when stuff. Okay, yeah. So tax collectors are probably the only way you can make money. I don't even know if you have those yet. I'm sorry. I have a really hard time remembering when you get certain things. If you have a tax collector, try to do. The tax collecting if you don't have a tax collector you're just gonna have to kind of balance your money accordingly um, it shouldn't be too hard to finish that one without going broke so I'd recommend just only spend money on the stuff you have to spend money on um, yeah cuz you don't sometimes it's like it's really easy to like start planning ahead to stuff you think you, you need to do and be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll need a temple in like a little bit, so might as well just build one right now. And then if you start building stuff in advance like that, it can be really easy to lose track and, and lose your money and employees really fast, when, which you don't want, right? So make sure you're only building like the essentials and you're just guaranteeing that you're saving as much money as possible. Okay, now where to put the people? Let's put some over here. And we'll put some right here. And any immigrants, it's going to take them, like, a really long time to get down here. So let's turn it up to five times speed. But yeah, it the game is it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of, like, when to do your money. Um, yeah, as far as access goes, it's not, like... You know, you don't have to put your granaries, like, right next to each other or anything. You just need to make sure... They can all connect to each other easily, right? So as long as they're all connected to a road, you should be fine, right? So like, I have hunters over here. The road connects to this, which goes across the river, connects to the granary, and then there's just another road that connects to the bazaar, and then they just connect to the houses. So as long as you just have like a road, or all the roads connect to it eventually, you should be fine. Um, and sometimes, if it's like too far apart, it'll be hard to get all the food you need to the bazaar. So sometimes it's less about how much bazaars you need and how much food you're producing. Sometimes you might not just be producing enough food. And you can check 
the food you're producing um, from the chief overseer. So if you click on overseers, the bars, it's the one with the crook and flail thing. And you can see it will tell you food production. We, like I'm, I'm producing much more food than I eat, but my food is also really low, right? So it can tell you some of those crucial details. Let's get the bazaar down as well. And to make that easier, we're going to put a granary over here. And then we'll put some farms over here just so we can still eat. Oh man, my ships are gone. That's too bad. So we have a little bit of food producing now. <laughs> yeah, gods, gods, they have they have the hacks, bro. They can just cheat code you into oblivion if they're not happy with you. Um, let's go ahead and throw a party for set, and then I'll put another temple down, and hopefully that'll make him so he's not as mad. Actually, let's put the big one down, right? Actually, it's probably a terrible idea. It probably doesn't fit over here, like, at all. Maybe we could squeeze it in at the very bottom? Like, right. Oh, man. So bad. <laughs> um, okay, probably not. Let's build it, like, right. Yeah. Gods, I think the easiest way to do it is make sure you have a festival, like, every once in a while. But if you just have like a bunch of shrines, shrines are decently cheap. How much? How expensive? Like a hundred. So like obviously, if you build too many, you're gonna go bankrupt. But you know, if you pop like two down, it usually will solve the problem a little bit. I do not have anywhere to put this. I think I might just put it like in the middle of nowhere, like right here. No, that's that's kind of a bad idea too. I cannot decide where I should put this. Maybe right here. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> Just a giant temple right next to it. I <laughs> know. Yeah, I don't know if you've unlocked this yet. This is... It's like a giant one. You can only build like one per city. But it, it makes the god, like, way more happy with you. Uh, I need to irrigate, too. Let's see. Let's see, we're gonna need to destroy this road. Put it on this side. Okay, and then hopefully now that means we can fit some of our irrigation. There we go. I should probably, for the amount of effort I'm putting into this area, I should probably like put actual houses down. Let's see, let's put this up here. And let's make this whole chunk just a bunch of houses. And unemployment's a little bad right now, so let's get, let's just speed things up there. Oh, finally, okay. Uh, yeah, so they'll they'll grow together in in chunks of four. So if you want, so usually you want to make sure your grid is big enough for four. For example, let's say I'm putting more houses down, like on this road. I'd make it too thick because then it's guaranteed by four. And then 
you know, a two by two like that. So four squares, that'll grow into like a singular big house. And then if I make it eight, then it'll make two big houses because it's a four by four and then another one, right? And then I'll just keep that going. So like 20, this would give me five because, you know, 20 divided by four. If I do 22 though, then there's not quite enough, right? Because then it'll just make two. So yeah, as long as it's divisible by four, you'll get these like chunky two by two ones. Now let's give him the limestone. How do we not have enough employees yet? Do we still need more people? So growing to apartments. So once you get a chunk of four like this, um, it'll just gradually keep upgrading more and more until it gets to apartment. So you'll just have to fulfill the need higher and higher. And you, again, you can see that what they do need once you leave it. So for example, mine needs to evolve more to get entertainment. This is actually probably a pretty good spot to teach because you can see, because yours are probably looking something like these ones down here that I have because these are like brand new. So these ones are still kind of small, right? So you need to make sure first, so I have them, um, they have food and water. Those are the first two things they need. And then they need entertainment. So I'll put some entertainment down. Um, I'm gonna put a really big entertainment thing down. In the conservatory right here. Okay. So, and then that will give entertainment. So for you, that's probably juggler stands. Um, and that will make sure, you know, everyone's entertained. And then once you have the entertainment necessary, you'll get another thing. I'm not, I don't quite remember what it is. I should probably build them right here though. And then that should hopefully make sure that more people move in. Let's put another chunk of houses just over here. Oh man, I forgot disease exists. Uh oh, uh oh. Before everyone here dies, let's get a physician. Okay. Even though I don't have the employees for it. Dang it. Okay, now I should hopefully. Everyone just went in those houses. Okay, I keep getting minor blessings. Pata is super mad at me still. Let's get some shrines to Pata. Put one right here. And right here. And the bazaar said hope should hopefully be giving them food soon. I just realized it's not irrigating because I didn't put a road on it. I'm kind of dumb. Okay, now the spirit of Set. Nice. He kills all the dudes who are going to attack me. That's or, Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, hopefully I win then. Yeah, okay. We're chilling. And let's put a roadblock here just so... That's another thing. To make sure your stuff is as efficient as possible, you want to use roadblocks to make sure that your guys don't go too far away from where they're supposed to be. Okay, come on. I have all these teaching things over here, but they're not coming across. I don't know if I need to... Are they not allowed to... I feel like they have to be able to go across the ferries, right? I don't know why they're not doing anything. And then, oh man, let's put a juggler here. And then, okay, so maybe, maybe they're just not allowed to go across water then, because they're just... Or maybe it's just because I don't have enough... No, I have enough employees. Okay, what's going on here? I have no idea what's happening. Okay. First things first. I need to make sure I have a... Fire guy here. Because apparently the one I have is just slightly too slow. So let's put another one 
right here. And then let's rebuild that granary. Oh, it was my god? Okay. Then I didn't even need to build that fire station, did I? Well, let's get rid of that then. Yeah, alright, thanks for the heads up. I didn't realize. Sometimes I just ignore the stuff that the game tries to tell me. Hmm. Where can I fit some of these things that I need? Let's put more stuff over... I could probably fit some entertainment stuff here. Let's put conservatory here. And then we'll get rid of this one. And then hopefully that should train the people up like they are supposed to be. And then let's put another... Pie guy. Um, so for context, Pie guy, uh, J Chess knows me in real life. Pie guy, uh, you probably, I'm going to assume doesn't know me in real life. Maybe you do. No clue. Um, I'll assume you don't know me in real life since you're playing this game. And if you're playing this game, you're not any of my friends because none of my friends are cool enough to play epic games like this. <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay, so it looks like entertainers just aren't allowed to go across that. So let's get rid of those, put a music school. Um, I don't... I don't think I can fit one there, so we're going to have to build some more roads going out. Let's put one at the very end of this road. And that should let these upgrade a bit quicker. So these should be irrigated. Yeah, so those are irrigated. We're going to need more, though, so let's put some other farms here so we've got a chickpea farm here and here and let's get the irrigation over there as well so we'll need a ditch oh that's the wrong one win another battle because we're just that cool oh entertainment yeah entertainment is like so easy to forget about but it's like like i always just like Oh, oh yeah, entertainment's not that important. I don't need to worry about it. But it's like one of the core, like the most important things. And I just, I always forget that. It's like, oops. If you lose a battle, losing a battle isn't super bad. Basically all your soldiers, or not all of, like a lot of your soldiers will die. And then usually your palace will get destroyed or any of your government offices. It's so like your tax collector, your palace, stuff like that. So it, it can just like make your money making get hit pretty hard but then you just rebuild them so it's it's not like it's more of a mild inconvenience if you lose a battle it's not that bad apparently a gold mine collapsed forever ago and i never noticed um looks like we have enough money anyway that it doesn't matter <laughs> but maybe you put one down just in case but yeah like losing a battle i mean if you can av oh yeah, oh well guess we get to find out since i just lost so you can see, oh my gosh. Okay, so they stole 20,000 gold. And then, all right, that's, that's too bad. And then I'm gonna assume my palace got destroyed. My mansion got destroyed. So just like one of my government buildings. So let's rebuild that really quick. All right, and that's it. So I, I lost quite a bit of money, lost my soldiers. But other than that, like I'm fine. Um, let's build another fort just to guarantee that I don't lose in the future But yeah, so like if you can avoid losing obviously you don't want to lose a fight, but it's not a very big deal um, It's not a huge deal if you do lose a fight as long as you have the money to rebuild a little bit And also if you keep set happy, that'll make it a lot easier Let's get some of this stuff with plazas that'll make people want to move in more Okay, what does this spot need? Courthouse? Let's get that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Why, why am I being robbed? Usually you don't get robbed if you have low unemployment. That's too bad. I guess we'll have to get a constable. We'll put one here and here. Okay, unemployment is still like kind of low. Okay, so now these guys need scribe school. So let's get one of those. Let's put it right here. And let's put more housing in this spot. Okay, so we should be pretty good on most of our objectives. Let's check our ratings. So we need a little bit more kingdom rating, but that can be figured out in a sec. But um, yeah, so it looks like we just need to, let's get the obelisk going. I think it's probably about time we get that started. Um, Wait, which part's going to be... Sorry, I was zoned out. Um, uh, oh, no. Wait. Was that Pata? Who did it? Who broke my thing? Oh, nothing. It was just... Oh, yeah. The object... Yeah, objectives usually aren't too bad. The thing that you have to remember is that it's it's not timed. You can take as long as you need. Once I, once I kind of, oh, like... Realize that I can, you know, you can take your time. You don't need to worry about it. That's what kind of guarantee, like, that's what made sure that I was fine, right? Um, yeah, 75 is pretty high. As long as you're n decently on top of giving Pharaoh the stuff he wants, it's not that bad. You can also, like, low-key bribe him. So if you have the money for it, you can just give him a lot of money, and that can kind of solve the problem. Um, there's only ever really been one time... I've had like a really hard time with kingdom rating and it's just because I was kind of bad at the game. But usually it's not like super hard to keep track of. Usually. <laughs> I guess it just kind of depends on the play style you have, but yeah. Okay. We're going to need a little bit more area for people to move in. Let's... First, let's put a juggler here before I forget. But let's also add some houses here. Okay, so what do we need to do the monument building? I'm not sure. What, okay, wait, why can't I build it? <laughs> Maybe we should figure that out first. What's stopping me from building the obelisk? Does it have to be next to a temple or something? Oh, we just need a hundred grand. Do we need that in a, There's no way we need that in advance. Okay, wait. What is stopping me? I don't know why I can't build this. We kind of need to build this to win the game, and I'm a little bit not sure how to do it maybe i just need a supply well i have a little bit of granite not a bunch but let's get rid of one of these we have too much limestone let's build another stockpile right there and then let's start importing granite i guess which trade route gives me granite abu i think yeah Okay, so let's get Abu. We can start buying some granite. I'm gonna import to maintain. Let's do 15 to start. Let's do 100. You know what? If we need 100, let's just maintain 100. Actually, 50. I don't know if I want to commit to fitting that much stuff in my house. That feels a little bit too hard. Okay, 50 granite. And now I can export pottery, so let's export one over just like a thousand, I guess. Actually, let's do 1500. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. And then maybe we should just make a second potter. Or, sorry, third potter. Let's 
Put more housing. Guess we can cram some here, some here. This is like terrible city planning, but I, I just I need more residents. Okay, hopefully that's enough. What's this? The granary got destroyed again. The gods are not very happy. Oh man, that was like a decently close fight. That was a little scary. Okay. Let's build the granary again. And then let's build another archer booth, I guess. Just because I'm not really in the mood to die, basically. So we'll just build another road right across the street from this archer. Wait, can we even fit that? Does that fit? I don't think that fits. I guess we'll put it right there. We can connect that with roads. Give him some beer. That was not supposed to be there. We'll just scoot it right there. Okay. I don't think these need to be super connected. Okay. So now that we've done that, our population is getting pretty close. We have a lot of unemployment. Our storages keep filling up somehow. Which shouldn't really be happening. We have a lot of barley, but I'm also exporting it, so I don't know why. Maybe we should just open a second route so we have more barley to sell. Does anywhere else even buy barley though? That's the problem. Yeah, because these guys, what? Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I thought, yeah, I thought you needed to connect. I'm just used to connecting stuff to roads, but apparently we don't need to do that. Okay, that's really good to know. Um, I don't really want to destroy these ones, but yeah, in the future, I guess I can just, you know, go over here, just put down like 10 forts or whatever, and then just leave. I'll say, nice to meet you, system box. Thanks for the tip. All right, we have a super high unemployment, mostly because I keep, I keep planning on building the obelisk. Um, do I need to have the 100 up front? That's all I can think of, is needing 100 granite up front, which... If that's the case, that's like a bunch of storage yards, and I feel like that doesn't really make sense. But I guess we'll just, just in case, let's full send and just storage yard, storage yard, storage yard. And that should hopefully be enough to fit what we need. I should probably increase the barley to like 1500 and then just get more barley farmers uh, where's barley oh my gosh I'm going blind okay so we'll fit one what right here here and here and let's just get the road connected up to that okay we're gonna ignore how little brain power I spent on that road Yikes. Okay. Nice. So now we can get our big granite chunks going. How much granite do we have? 24. Let's maintain 100. Let's just make sure, just in case I need to get exactly 100 to build it to even like start. I guess we can just guarantee that really quick so let's just go ahead and spam click until we get up to 100 i'm gonna leave this running but i'm gonna need to mute for a sec get in a phone call all right sorry about that we are back okay and we are already running out of storage yard space a little bit. That's only one solution to this problem, of course, which is more storage yards. Okay, now that we have that, hopefully we can 
get the needed granite in time before we just fill it up with other random production uh, i feel like that's that's like the main system of the game that i just can't seem to figure out is how storage yards work because i feel like i shouldn't need to have like 10 storage yards so i don't know if i'm just like really bad at balancing my imports and exports or if that's or if you're just actually supposed to have like 10 storage yards honestly not sure <laughs> but my solution in in the past has just been sp to spam just like as much storage yards Oh man, this seems like it's gonna be a close fight. Oh, okay, we're fine. That was like equal numbers. Just in case. And with the awesome tip from system, what was it, system box? You can just pop a fort like middle of nowhere. And get that going. Okay, we're okay, we're super close to getting the needed amount of population, so let's just Start building as much housing as possible, where possible. What was this? Well, my one tax collector got destroyed. Probably should have noticed that sooner. Let's get two tax collectors just in case. And we'll get... I realized we didn't have a tax collector over here. And by the time I've realized that, I don't have anywhere to fit them. <laughs> so I guess these guys will just be untaxed for the rest of their life. Nah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, let's get the text collector. I guess we can just wreck one of these houses. Let's just like get rid of those two And then just plop text collector down And then I guess we scoot our roadblock a little bit further now Okay, what's our granite stash looking like do we have enough granite yet? 40 granite I should have started importing this sooner. I'm, I have no idea how obelisk building works. I've only done pyramid building up until this point, so I don't know if I'm like missing something and I'm just super dumb, or if there's actually like some sort of system I'm supposed to be going for here. Oh no, fire. Okay, let's put a fire guy, because that's like the fifth time this stupid thing's burned down. Three archers go clap some cheeks nice job for the glory of Pharaoh I guess let's pop down our like other granary which we've had a bunch of all right looks like we got 3,000 population what's our rating looking like do we have a high enough ratings yet 69 all right not gonna complain about a 69 kingdom rating but we do need to slightly increase that and monument rating but that kind of goes with the fact that we need to build a monument in the first place i feel like the pharaoh hasn't asked us for anything in like a really long time so i guess end case scenario i might just have to bribe him with my personal money stash until we get enough we are getting a lot of barley Yeah, producing less, producing less kind of makes sense because then we don't fill up as much. But and then it also makes it harder just because then I have less to export and less to supply. So I have a hard time just getting my supply matching up with my, you know, other stuff. Um, we do have a lot of barley though. And we're also running out of storage again. Luckily, we have this lovely land that we can spam some storage on. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And I'm gonna have to. I have, I have a, an appointment at 6:30 that I need to get to, so I'm gonna have to wrap up pretty soon. But I really want to finish this this objective. I'm so close. We just need to build like the one the one monument, and I'm just having such a hard time getting the necessary resources. Um, let's see. Also, our population. Just decrease. Whoa, all of our population decreased on here. Desirability? Oh, yeah, that would do it.
Oh my gosh, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, I totally forgot I need the architect. All right, let's put one there. Let me get one over here as well. All right. Thanks for uh, avoiding that cataclysm. That would have been really bad. We have a bunch of barley. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's get some potters on that because that is way too much barley for one civilization to have. And the desirability is making our population kind of shrink immeasurably. Let's get all that going. Um, okay, and then we can get some like gardens down this thing. Get some chunky gardens over here. That'll help us get our ratings higher. We can put a just a giant statue over here. Hmm. Is that a good statue? Overlooking the Nile, maybe? No, let's get a chair. I feel like a chair makes more sense. We can just be chilling. Watch in the river. And then we'll put another statue. Let's put another guy. He can be watching the actual town. One guy will watch the river, one guy will watch the town. And then let's get some more desirability down this section. And then plaza up. I love how it's like, oh man, we need to we need to get more desirability. Let's make the road look goofy. That's sure to get people to move in. My buttload of archers can get there. This has like nothing in it. Probably because I'm out of space. Let's see. We need more housing. I'm just gonna start spamming housing in my old area. Let's just get you know, house here, house here, house here, there, there, all there, over here. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's enough. Someone got robbed. I think that was a one time thing, so I'm not gonna get any new constables on that, but. Okay, do we have a hundred granite yet? I feel like we need we need our granite. Ooh, we have a hundred. Okay, wait, does that mean I'm allowed to build the monument? Or do I have to? Oh, okay, so yeah, it looks like it was just you need a hundred granite right from the get-go. I think that's how obelisks work. Um, where's a cool spot to put this? Probably just like right next to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay, so now we have our fancy smancy obelisk. Oh wait, no, that was, that was a bad idea. I didn't realize that you need workers on it still. Okay, wait, so in that case, let's just put it in the middle of nowhere. Let's put it like right here is nice. And then we're just gonna need some, so like a, that guy. Let's maybe one more of those carpenters and then work teams. Let's build a roadblock right here. Make sure we have the essentials covered, like the firehouse and the architect post. Um, and hopefully that'll get stuff built pretty fast. Maybe one more carpenter. Let's put that up here. Now we're... No one's moving. How come no one's moving in? Let's ask Chief Overseer. Poor city sentiment. Why are people mad? I don't know why people are mad at the city. Probably just because a bunch of people left, and I don't know why, but... Um, come on, come on. <laughs> no one's moving in. Guys, please. Maybe if I just lower taxes by a bit. Let's lower taxes to, like... 5% because we're rich. I don't think we really need to worry about taxes. If we lower taxes, that'll probably make people happier. If we just start spamming decorations, that'll probably work as well. If we just get some more gardens in some random spots. We just put like some you know, big old sphinx over here in the corner. Another one over here. Okay. Hopefully this all ends up working now. All right, work is broken.
progressing. So we're on phase three, current final shape, working from the bottom. All right, sounds good. Oh yeah, totally fine. Um, yes, the obelisk is done. Oh, let's go. All right, now we get our, our nice fancy Grana obelisk. That's that's a pretty cool design. I like that design. Um, when I went to Egypt, the Grana obelisks were quite a different color. They're more reddish. But I think once they're polished and stuff, they get more black. But the ones I saw were mostly kind of the reddish. Granted, a lot of the black granite ones were like, you know, kidnapped and put in European cities and stuff. Okay, we're so close to winning. What else do we need to do here? Our kingdom rating is really close. We're just going to bribe them. I need to go like really soon. So let's just uh, go ahead and bribe political overseer, send a gift. Let's give a generous gift. Wait. How much money do I have? 20,000. Okay, yeah. So it's, it's modest. 2,000. So a tenth of my money. And we just gave him a gift. So hopefully that ups my rating enough to win. 74. Are you kidding me? 74. No. Why? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, and Pataz Madden destroyed my storage yard. Uh, solution. Now that we're rich and right about to win, we can kind of do whatever we want. So we can just make... Like, oh, Pata's mad? Guess we'll just make eight new shrines to Pata, just for funsies. Um, and I guess we just have to give another gift to Pharaoh, because I need to I need to hurry up. Um, let's see. Okay, one more gift, and that should be... Yeah, okay. We just had to bribe him a little bit more. Okay. Alright, thanks to your skill, Egypt now claims part of Nubia as its own. Through the city, have a stat. Let's see. Yeah, through the city you have established, you have demonstrated even strength, wealth, grandeur to the conquered Nubians. All right, cool. That's probably the quickest I've ever finished a mission. Usually, it take way longer. Maybe I'm like actually getting good enough at learning how to play the game to not take like three hours to beat a campaign. I think the latest I've had to stay up playing one of these is like 1:30 in the morning because I'm just terrible. All right. Thanks to everyone who watched. I gotta go. Got some stuff to do. Dinner to eat. Not sure what time zones you guys are in, but I'm going to assume you guys do too. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Pie guy, nice to meet you. I'm glad I could help you through some of the tutorial stuff. System box, thank you for some of the nice reminders. Um, I'm going to be streaming this game tomorrow. I just realized my sad face is still on. Sorry. Um, I'll be streaming this game tomorrow night at like I don't know six or seven or probably seven ish. You know, seven to nine or something like that kind of same length as this stream was and yeah we'll just be doing the next campaign mission um so if yeah you know if you hit the follow you definitely won't miss that but no pressure of course um but yeah so i'm gonna go um super nice meeting both of you guys glad we could all have fun um but yeah i'll go ahead and see you guys next time hopefully and yeah see ya